Hey guys, this is Shelly, and I'm going to come to you today with a little coupon chat, and then I will go over my CVS stuff. Not all of my CVS stuff, but um, some of the easy deals to do this week. I've had a little bit of an up and down kind of weekend as far as couponing goes. Usually I get my papers on Saturday. Well, I'll get half my papers at, on, at Walmart on Saturday, and then the other half will get Sunday at the Dollar Tree and then Sunday I was waiting for the cable guy to come so like I couldn't just leave the house so I asked my mom to pick me up some papers and she said no problem and then when she went to the Dollar Tree they were giving everybody a hassle saying only four papers per person which they never ever do ever so they gave her a real hassle about getting the papers and then the manager proceeded to be like, you know, you people come and then you take up all the newspapers and blah, blah, blah. Like I, when she called me and told me that I was livid. You don't sell an item in your store and then complain when people are buying the item. I don't care how many, if I went in there and bought 10 Easter decorations or all of the Easter egg decorations, would somebody, would she say, you're just buying way too many Easter decorations. Like that pissed me off. So, Dollar Tree is getting a nice little letter from Shelly this week regarding the manager's piss-poor attitude. Uh, I don't care who you are. If you don't like that I'm buying all your newspapers, either A, don't sell the newspapers, or B, always limit the newspapers, but you don't have the right to tell me that I'm bad because I'm buying the newspapers. Like, that's just over the top to me. Um, and, by the way... All week long at that same Dollar Tree, there's still Sunday newspapers all week long at this stupid store. So that manager is going to have a, a nice little thumbs down this week. On a lighter note, last week another manager pissed me off because I had went to Walmart and everybody knows how miserable Walmart can be. They had the Glade automatic spray kits, okay? They had some Markdown 488, um, my absolute favorite. I love them. I have a couple in my house. Now, we had the $3 off coupons on those, so I picked up four. I went to check out, and the coupon was not scanning. So the manager wanted to get into this, like, fight that it wasn't the item that was in the picture because it said free holder on it. So she said, actually, she said, it doesn't say starter kit on the box. So long story short, I went back to the shelf. Even the starter kits that didn't have free holder on it, not one of them said starter kit on the box. Okay. So I went on walmart.com and I wrote out this lengthy complaint and said that I felt that she was not reading the coupon and she was just very quick to cause a scene about it and she embarrassed me in the store and all this stuff. Well, that very manager called me on the phone on Sunday apologizing and telling me that bring my coupons in and that she'll honor them. But I didn't just let it go. Like I was like, you have to understand that some of us, you know, use coupons and you I don't feel like you guys are trained on how to read them. And, you know, I don't, I don't care what you're telling me. Like, you need to really stop and think about how you're affecting customers when you do that to them. So, I was able to go to the store, get my starter kits, and get them for my price. So, I paid $1.88 for each kit. I got four of them. Then there was a $3 rebate on Ibotta. So, I did even better than that. So, I was happy with the outcome of that. Then, yesterday at CVS, had to have just topped, topped my day. Uh, it just seems like every time I go on Sunday, I have nothing but problems with this one cashier. At first, when I started going there on Sundays and dealing with this lady, she had a nasty attitude. But I kind of told her, I was like, you know, I understand that coupons can be a little frustrating. And, you know, ever since I was nice, she's been nice back. But they were having some serious problems yesterday with their system. I ended up getting the, like, I wanted to get the toothbrushes and stuff. The Colgate 360 toothbrushes were on sale. And first they had the, the tag in the wrong place. So I got the $5.99 toothbrushes and then they had to do a refund. And 
it was just a hot mess. And then I got the toothpaste and it wasn't printing out the ECBs. So I had to get a manual printout and then everything went down from there because I went and did my big purchase. I was getting ready to do it and the computers weren't working right. It wasn't seeing all the extra coupons that were on my card. So she was trying to do it all manually by hand and I said, stop. I will just come back tomorrow <laughs> when the computers are working and I will deal with it then. Best call I could have made because it was just so stressful. I mean, they weren't mean or nasty, but it's like, you know, when you have like a set plan in your head and you just want to go shop and then you can't, it was like, Ugh. so needless to say, I went today and had great success. And I think from now on, I'm just going to stick to Monday shopping. I'm not going to try to go early or whatever. It's just not worth it. Okay. And again, on a lighter note, I did, today is Monday. Um, I just went on to redplum.com and they do have some really good printable coupons on their site. Um, here I have a save $1 on any one all product. I know lately they've only had 50 cent coupons out for all, but, um, this coupon seems to be available. Uh, it expires April 24th. So if you can print one, you know, and hold on to it, maybe we'll get another all deal come up and you might want to have that $1 coupon. That's pretty good. Uh, also, they have a $2 off Noxzema razors. Um, that's a good coupon to have. I like to grab those sometimes. So um, that one expires April 13th. Um, yeah, and they just have a bunch of, you know, good coupons on their site. And I was so excited. Look at this stack of print. <laughs> Printed paper. They reset, like, a lot of the coupons that were on coupons.com. And I was so excited because they have a lot of great coupons this month. Um, the Sensodyne toothpaste, I've been getting the travel size every time I can print that coupon. Um, the travel size at my store is a dollar, and it's a dollar off, so I get the Sensodynes free. Um, the Stay Free pads, two dollars off two is back available. Um, the Edge Shaving Gel, and of course, you know, you have all your toothpaste and, and mouthwashes and, and stuff like that. Um, I'm just trying to see if there's anything else. Uh, they have dollar off Garnet. Uh, hair shampoo, 75 cent off Kraft Parmesan cheese, which we go through an awful lot. Um, just a lot of great coupons of stuff that's going on sale all the time here. Uh, the V8 juice blends, they've been going on great sales here, so dollar off on those. So just check coupons.com because a lot of those coupons reset. So I was pretty excited about that. I wanted to share that with you just in case you have not been on the site. All right. So I'm going to turn the camera around and then I'll just show you kind of some of the deals that I did do today. Um, I will let you know that I paid about $3.50 in tax probably for everything today because I used a lot of my extra care bucks to pay for these things. So let's just um, get into that. Okay, okay. So I got some pretty good stuff. Pretty good, pretty good. I do want to say that my CVS does allow us to use expired coupons up to 14 days. Um, so you might not have the same ability to do some of these things. Also, um, since I've been shopping there so consistently and my card is registered, the more that you shop and spend in their store, the more special coupons that you're going to get. So in the beginning, I wasn't getting any special um, coupons at all. I was just trying to make my ECBs go as far as I could, and ECBs are the extra care bucks that you get. So basically... I would use them and just do small deals and try to flip them and get other extra care bucks back. Um, but now that I've been getting so many, let me see if I have the receipt to show you. 
now that I've been shopping there for so long. Okay, let's see. By special coupons, this is what I'm talking about. This is stuff that's on my card. Okay, I get all of these extras. So, I mean, I have a ton of them, things that I can use. And then it'll tell you what you've used at the bottom, but um, I use my app a lot, and I keep track of what I can use in conjunction with the sales and the coupons, and that is what really makes these deals happen. So, um... Let's go through some sales. I did not see this in the paper um, this week. I saw this walking through the store. Um, Salon Paws is, uh, these look like, four, there's four patches in this pack. And basically the deal was buy two Salon Paws products, I believe, and then you get $5 extra care bucks back. So these were $2.99 each. So basically I paid that out of pocket because there was no coupon. Okay, I paid those with my extra care bucks that I had and then I got five back. So I used six and got five right back. So I paid a dollar for these making these 49 cents each. So um, my husband will definitely use these. I only bought them because I can actually, this is something that will actually be used. When I go shopping at CVS, I, I have a certain criteria for things that I'm going to buy. If I'm going to get the item for free, I'll purchase it. If it's something I can really use, I will purchase it. If it's something that I've been wanting to try and it's a price that I can't refuse, I'll purchase it. Or if it's like a really good stock up price, something like that, then I will purchase it. Um, so I don't go too crazy on a lot of st stuff in the store. I'm very careful about the way that I use my money, and I do do several transactions. Um, I did this one deal, and I wanted to do this more than once, but I couldn't. Alme was spend $12 in product, and then you get $4 in extra care bucks back. So this mascara is $8.49. And this Alme sh um, Shadow is $5.29. So it meets the criteria. I had a free, this, this was free because I had a coupon for $8.49 off. So basically I was only paying the $5.29. But since I was getting the four back, I only paid $1.29 for this. Which I did not even pay because I was paying an extra care box. This um, Sally Hansen, I did not get the coupons for this in my Sunday paper, but they were available to print on uh, Red Plum. I think it was redplum.com. They had the $3 off coupons for this. So this was $9.99. And if you spent $10, which at CVS, if you get like, I think it's 98%. Of the ten dollars, if you're like within that ninety-eight percent, then you will get the extra care bucks. So even though I didn't hit the exact ten, I was close enough to the ten. Um, you get five back. So you spend ten, get five. That that those are the best deals you can get if you can get that close. So basically, I had a three dollar off coupon. So it would have been seven dollars out of pocket and I would have got back five, meaning I would have spent two on this. So two dollars here and a dollar twenty-nine here. Now, because I get those special coupons like these, I had a three dollar off, fifteen dollars or more in cosmetics, and these three items qualified for that. So basically I paid twenty-nine cents. For those three that's how you work it and I got extra care backs for this extra care bucks back for this and for this so that's how you have to look at your deals when you're working them out what can I do to maximize um, my coupons with my deals and get back extra care bucks so that was an amazing deal for me I hope I wasn't too confusing with that 
it was confusing to me. <laughs> um, this little guy was just a free toothbrush. The Oral-B indicators at my store have been on clearance for 74 cents forever. I don't know if they dug this out of the back room, but when I was looking at the toothbrushes today, there it was. I scanned it, and sure enough, it scanned for 74 cents. I had a 75 cent off one toothbrush, Crest uh, Oral-B, sorry, um, toothbrush, so it was free, 100%. I didn't even have to pay, so that was a nice bonus to add to the collection. Shore deodorants this week um, is a real easy deal at CVS. There's a 75 cent coupon in the paper that most of us got. You can look online at some of the sites to see if you can also get one. I haven't seen it yet, but I haven't checked everywhere. Um, these are on sale for $1.75. Uh, you give them the 75 cent coupon, making it out of pocket $1, but then you get a dollar right back in an extra care buck. So if you pay with a dollar extra care buck, you'll get that $1 extra care buck right back. So that was a nice, simple, easy deal. Only one per card. So keep that in mind. Garnier. Let me tell you something. I give these wipes like four stars. I love them. Uh, when we did a lot of the Almay deals in the past, I have a lot of um, makeup removers from Almay. And what I found is that when I'm cleaning my face, the Alme really stings my eyes, but this one does not sting my eyes at all. It has a nice smell, has a nice feel, so that's a really good product, and I do really recommend it. Um, these are at my store, $6.49. Uh, the deal with the Garnier cleansers was buy two and get a five dollar extra care buck so six forty nine a piece and then I had a two dollar off um, on each one coupon so what does that make it <clears throat> Let's, let me write this out here I forgot to write this one out Six forty nine, six forty nine. So about thirteen dollars, yeah. And then I had four dollars off in coupons, so that made it nine dollars. And then I had a thirty percent off cleansers or some something on my card. So basically, I think it brought it down closer to like seven dollars, around seven dollars. So I paid two dollars probably for these, and I got um because I got a $5 extra care buck back. So for a dollar a piece, um, that's a really good price and they're an excellent product. So I recommend those to everybody who wants to try them. They really are pretty nice, pretty nice. Let's see. Oh, I also had a $4 off my $20 purchase. So that also went towards this stuff. Um, the Colgates were free. What was the deal on Colgate? I think they were $3.39. And you can either get the um, 360 toothbrush or the Colgate. I still had a $2 off coupon for my Colgate, which was really nice because uh, it saved me out of pocket. Um, $3.39 they were each and then I had a two dollar and a one dollar and then I had a, a two dollar off two Colgate purchase and then I ended up getting back five dollars in extra care bucks for that so that was a complete money maker for me without a doubt um, the crest sorry little guys was pretty much the same deal um, let's see <clears throat> they were $3 a piece, and I had $1 coupons, making them $2 a piece. 
And so we paid $2 out of pocket, which I paid in my extra care box, $2, and then I got $2 right back. And you can do the deal on both of these two times. And then I have to say that my most favorite deal of the day was this, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, in our newspaper, I mean in our CVS paper, rather, it says, um, buy two, get $4 in extra care bucks back okay these are four dollars and ninety nine cents in my store but the tags that they put on the shelves said buy this and get four dollars it did not say buy two so when I had my cashier come over and look at the shelf she said because it says this I'm gonna honor it and give you the four dollars so this was $4.99. I had a dollar off coupon making it $3.99. Um, so I had to pay $3.99 with my extra care bucks, you know, out of pocket. And then she ended up giving me $4 right back. So this was completely free. Since I knew that, I got the two-in-one because I hate to buy a shampoo without the conditioner or vice versa. So I just got the two-in-one, but free. So that made me a happy camper. Keep your eyes out for those kind of things. I mean, even CVS screws up. So those are some of the deals I did. Um, if you check your paper, I did the Irish Spring deal yesterday, and I just wasn't feeling it yesterday. I tried to just get out of there. Um, but there are some really great deals this week at CVS. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I'm rambling a little bit. I just have a lot in my brain. It's been a couple of crazy days. Um, give me a thumbs up or send me a question or whatever you like. Send me a smiley face emoji. That's good too. All right, guys. Hopefully I will be talking to you soon.